Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer where there's an error message that reads that the device is being used by another application. Please close any devices that are playing audio to this device and try again. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu Type in control panel. Best result, should come back with control panel. So go ahead and open that up. In the view by field up in the top right, click on the drop down and select the large icons. And then you want to select sound. Select whatever your speaker device is listed in here. And then select properties. Select the advanced tab once more. And underneath exclusive mode, where it says allow applications to take exclusive control of this device, make sure that is checkmarked. Or you can also select restore defaults as well. And then select apply and OK. So again, make sure that is checkmarked under here. And then select OK. Close out of here. Open up the search menu and type in services. Best match. Should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to scroll down this list until you get to the Windows Audio service and double click on it. You want to stop the service if it's currently running by selecting the stop button and then select start. And make sure startup type is also set to automatic in this drop down list and then select apply and OK. And then you want to close out of here and then actually restart your computer at this time. And hopefully, again, that's resolved the problem. One final thing we can do is check for file system corruption on your computer. And that would entail opening up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, I want you guys to type in SFC, followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that scan has concluded, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And hopefully at this point your issues should have been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.